Okay, so yours truly has. Uh, I'm, I'm redoing this one. This is just, um, the question two e of part the entropy question. And so let's have a look. I've I've chopped it up so we can we can have a look at it quite nicely. If I pause in the video and uh, and I pause it, it's to bring up the calculator or, or things like that. So let's have a look. Consider the following reaction that can lead to the release of the pollutant NO into the atmosphere. And as I'm reading it, there's certain triggers like, look, it's half N2 and half O2. So I might have to take that into consideration, but I see it straight away. Use data from the table on page 4 to calculate, and I've actually I've actually taken a table here from page 4. Copy and paste it. To calculate the minimum temperature above which a reaction is feasible. So in previous questions, we know that a reaction is feasible when Gibbs free energy delta G is less than or equal to zero. Um, we also know that delta G is equal to the enthalpy change, that should be an equal sign there, and take away entropy and there's T, our temperature, which, which, we, which we're trying to find. We know what delta G is going to be. We, we, we want to know the minimum temperature that's feasible at is zero. T we're trying to find, so let's put a question mark here. We're trying to find T. Delta H. So now what I've got to do for this reaction is to find delta H. And our um, enthalpy change formula is, 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 is the same. So delta H is going to be uh, um, products minus reactant, P minus R, the sum of the total of the enthalpy, the products minus the sum of the, the reactants. Well, our products is NO. And, and that's 90.4. And we're really looking at our reactants, both of them are zero. So in terms of our calculation problem, we know that delta H is going to be 90.4. Now, um, we're trying to find T, but we need to know what delta S is. And that's right here. To be honest, it's the same thing. The sum of the of, of delta S for products minus the sum of delta S for, for reactants. So the product is NO, 211.1. I've got 211.1, and I'm going to take away the sum of my reactants, which is 192.2, and to add to that, 205.3. And this is where a lot of students will make mistakes, because because when I read the equation, I realized, haha, half N2, half O2, so in my reactants, I must half the total entropy. So now let me get my really posh calculator up. Where's my really posh calculator? There you are. So let's have a look. So I'm going to do the brackets first. 192.2. I'm going to add 205.3. And that gives me 397.5. But I'm going to divide that by 2. It gives me 198.75. So what I've got is 198.75. And I need to take that away from 211.1. So coming back to my real cool calculator. Um, I'm actually going to clear it. I'm going to put it all into my calculator. 211 to 11.1. <laughs> that's a minus sign. <laughs> minus. My eyes are going one nine eight point seven five. So we've got a twelve point three five entropy change. Now we have to be very careful. See, we've got to pay attention to our units. This here, delta F is in kilojoules. Well, entropy is in joules. So what we got here. Delta G is zero equal to ninety point four times a thousand. So that'll be ninety thousand four hundred minus T. I'm gonna put into brackets here twelve point three five. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, rearrange this to find T. And I'm not going to do it uh, as an A-level math student. I'm going to do it and I'm going to pretend that I've already done GCSE maths. So this is plus 
positive 90,400. I'm going to move that to the side. So that'll give me minus 90,400 is equal to minus t times 12.35. But you see, I don't like minuses. So I can do the whole thing. And talking in a level talk, I can times by minus 1. Or I just switch them both to positives. Equals t. 12.35 but I don't want 12.35 t's I want 1 so what I do is I divide both sides by 12.35 this cancels out that leaving t and this should give me let's get my fancy calculator up oh 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 let's clear that uh, well, 9 0 4 0 0 90, divided by 12.35 equals there we go you can see from the uh, big screen I've got a crazy number so I'm going to round it up I've got what 7319.8 7319.8 Kelvin and that is a 5 marker I have jammed it up um, but I hope that makes kind of sense in terms of what was going on in my brain. Okay, okay.